Well, welcome back on board. And yeah, I've just been like a little kid in a candy shop uh, as we drove up. So we've got the Lappet Face Vulture, who is the top of the pecking order on the vultures, or of the vultures, and he's sitting right at the top of the dead tree. But if we go across to the other side, we've actually got the three different species of vulture in the tree. So we've got the white bat vultures that I think you've just been seeing with Tristan. So we've got some there. And it looks like, okay, so we've still got the white, it looks like the hooded flew off, sadly. That we also had a hooded vulture in that tree as well. And just picking up from what Tristan was saying about the different beak sizes and shapes, and they specialise for eating different parts of the carcass. So once the lappet face have opened up a carcass, the other vultures can come in and uh, feed on the softer tissue. And then you get some of the vultures who actually have grooves on their tongue that will actually be able to eat the bone marrow as well. So let's carry on around, but I just really want to share the lappet face with you just in case they've been and gone already, because that is just something very special. Here you go, you can see that bald head. And again, not having feathers on the head, it's actually keeping them very clean. And vultures are actually very clean birds. They do they do go and bathe after they've eaten. That just allows them to put the heads right inside the carcass and obviously they don't have any feathers that get matted up and and uh, all bloody. I am hearing some of the vultures hissing. So let's let's carry on round to the carcass and see what is happening over there. <laughs> 